Hey y'all, welcome back to the Outdoor Legacy channel. My name is Jason Robertson. I am the owner of Outdoor Legacy. And today we have got a very special treat for you. We've got a quick, just kind of a short overview of what is going to be by far one of the most popular thermal rifle scopes for fall and winter of 2024. And we're excited about it. To help me with this, I'm going to bring in my number one top salesman, my buddy, uh, Mr. Hans from his world famous Hansi's yeah. Texas YouTube channel. World famous. I'm sure he's world really famous, big right. in Japan. What's going on? How are you, buddy? Good. We've got a review today of the Bolt. This is the Infrared Outdoor Bolt TX60C. The reason why I have it and why Jason doesn't is because I told him to send it to me and I wasn't going to give it back. No, he's had it for... Uh, we've had this thing. We broke the news about the Bolt TX60C on the late night vision show back in May. Uh, Jason's had it for several weeks. I've had it for several weeks now. We've got a bunch of video to show you for this review. But if you want to see a full, in-depth, deep dive into the Bolt TX60C, as always, you can check out uh, the late night vision show. It's thelatenightvisionshow.com or on YouTube, the late night vision show episode 326. That will be uh, this Thursday. We're recording this August and releasing 1st. August. Thank you for the date. That was very yep. key and timely. Yes. Uh, August 1st, episode 326 will be the full review. Uh, and we do a lot, y'all. We, we go into a deep dive on this, but this is the Bolt TX60C review 1024 by 1024 resolution. We'll be showing some video of it, talking about who it's good for. Uh, and what you can expect. So Jason. Yeah. So guys, again, this is a short form review. This is just something real quick to, to give you a little bit of info because some guys don't want to sit there and, and they don't want to watch the long review. They don't want all the details. We go into all the details there. <laughs> uh, listen, if you're interested in this scope as of today, uh, which is the last couple of days of, of July, 1st of August, we have these scopes in stock on the shelf. They're ready to ship. And guys, we are excited about this. We would love to have your business. You can go mm -hmm. to OutdoorLegacyGear.com or you can call us, 877-350-1818. Hans and I would be happy to talk to you about the scope. Again, as he mentioned, we've had it for about three months, so we've got a lot of time behind it and we'd we'll be glad to tell you how it compares to other optics and what you can really expect out of it. And we would love to have your business. So I'm going to give you some quick specs, just kind of a rundown here. This unit is the Bolt TX60C. It is $6,999 and it is a full 1024 by 1024, uh, ultra high resolution HD sensor. It's a 12 micron 50 Hertz refresh, refresh rate. It's got a sub 18 millikelvin NETD rating. It's got a 60 millimeter lens starts at a three power base magnification goes all the way up to a 16 power. It has got seven color palettes. It has got, uh, seven different reticle options, four colors for the reticles. It is uh, picture in picture, video recording, audio recording, uh, recoil activated video, Wi Fi streaming to the smartphone app, all those features mm -hmm. that you would expect it to have. It has uh, available with it. Cool thing, it has the internal non removable rechargeable battery that we expect in this style of scope, but it also uses a fully removable. 18650 battery. Uh, it comes with two 18650 batteries from Infrared Outdoor right there in the box. And again, those are fully removable, generic, rechargeable batteries. We really like that. That's a cool feature. And, you know, combined with one 18650 and the internal battery, you're probably going to be looking at somewhere around um, nine, 10 hours of total runtime. And again, you can continue to put in more 18650s and get, you know, another, say, two and a half, three and a half hours of runtime, depending on your battery that you're using. So we really like that. Uh, you know, it comes with the five year warranty that uh, IRA USA is known for. Another cool thing is that they are including this single piece dual QD throw lever mount in the box, no additional charge. This does come with it. Hans has got that scope right there in the American yeah. Defense Manufacturing mount. That's the mount we use, the mount that we sell. They make the best mounts in the country. And so we always like those. Nothing wrong with this mount. Uh, it is free. It's included with it. It gets the job done. But if you want the best, 
American Defense, and we do have those available as well. So yeah, I was just showing the scope with the mount. Here's a, just a quick walk around. Now I do have the laser range finder set up on the scope. This laser range finder does not come with it in the box. This is an add-on accessory, $799 for that. It does Bluetooth or basically Wi-Fi, and it integrates into the optics. So whenever you do range it, a target, it will show up on the inside uh, on the screen. But this laser range finder is an add-on feature. Uh, that you can purchase through Outdoor Legacy, as well as the American Defense Manufacturing Recon mount, QD mount, as always. But this is what the scope looks like, y'all. Very similar to the, the other boat models uh, that have been on the market, just with the battery compartments, the turret menu turrets on the top, and the USB-C uh, plug-in on the side. But here's what it looks like. Got IP stopter focus and objective lens focus. So one thing Hans didn't mention that's important is that if you purchase the add-on laser range finder and then that is an infrared outdoor product if you add that uh, and pair it up you do uh, get the ballistic calculator that is built mm -hmm. into the scope so now you will be able to use that because you have the integrated laser range finder so i know that's something for it's important to a lot of guys that are doing a lot of longer range shooting mm -hmm. so let's just get down to the nitty-gritty on this and, and we're going to be showing some some videos hans may have already been showing them uh, of some you know hogs and stuff at different yardages we're probably going to have more videos video in our full review. So if you want to see that again, you can go over to the late night vision show.com episode three. I said com, but you can go dot com or go here on YouTube. Episode three twenty six again available. You'll get somewhere. Uh, August August first. Com. That's right. You'll yeah. get there. Yeah, we got so, plenty of video. We're gonna be showing a lot more video on the full scale review, smaller clips here, uh, just to kind of fit it all in. But uh, you know, we got video of hogs uh and coyotes from 20 yards to 350 yards. And, you know, out here in East Texas, it's hard to get much further than that. But we yeah. got a, a good array of I, clips for I you. I think that, you know, in this quick overview, what people want to know, and they always ask us is, hey, is this a good scope? Is it worth the money? Is it something that I should look at? And Hans, I'm going to give my quick answer. I'm going to let you give mm. yours. But my thoughts are this. If this scope is out of your budget, then it doesn't matter. Don't go stretching your budget. Don't do anything financially that you shouldn't to buy this scope. Okay, there's lots of other really, really good 640 scopes out there. But if this is in your budget, then yes, it needs to be on your list. This needs yeah. to be in your, your even if you don't know anything about thermals, you're like, I'm willing to spend, you know, seven, $8,000, whatever, then you need to put this in your top five scopes, maybe yeah. in your top three scopes, okay? But, but just <laughs> yeah. you need needs to be on your list, your short list. And again, somebody like Hans or myself would be happy to talk to you and, and help you mm -hmm. figure out if this is the right scope. But generally speaking, the 1024 image is fantastic. It is it is above 640. I mean, so it, it is and it is better. You are getting more detail. Mm -hmm. You're getting a longer identification range. You're getting a longer shooting range, which is crazy because you can already mm -hmm. shoot a really long ways with the, the yeah. good 640s. Uh, it's just an overall fantastic scope. I think if you're uh, hog hunting and you're doing a lot mm -hmm. of shooting past 50, 60, 70 yards, it's the kind of scope you're going to be interested in. I think pretty much almost all predator hunters, I mean, there's exceptions. There's guys that are in tight places in the woods or very small fields. Maybe not, but anytime you start getting out into that 75 plus yard range, this is a scope you need to consider. I mean, the three power base mag is what really makes this scope and where you're going to see a big benefit over 640s, in my opinion, is when you start zooming up and yeah. you've got all that resolution and using that digital zoom and your image is just not getting near as mm. pixelated uh, because of that high resolution. And again, this that amazing image you're starting out with. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, this right now, as far as... Um, beginning of August uh, or towards the end of July in 2024. This is the least expensive thermal scope over 640 resolution, that being a 1024, and it's got the highest base magnification. Now, yeah. now that may change. Uh, you never know. But right now, I, I do believe that this is probably going to be uh, the most popular coyote and predator hunting thermal scope going into the fall of 2024 and into the, the coyote hunting season of 2025, just because of the fact it is higher resolution. Jason's exactly right. When you zoom up the image, that's where you see the clear difference. It holds the picture image together, together very, very well. And the fact that you have an optic that runs on 18650 batteries for all you people up in cold weather that want to have a bunch of extra batteries in your pocket ready to go. 
here you go. 18650 is very common battery, but it performs fantastic in high humidity and on nights when there's a lot, just not very good condition, uh, you know, weather condition. I had it out here in Texas, in East Texas. In July, it's been hot, humid, bunch of rain. Picture image still looks fantastic, a lot of detail. And I do believe, like I said, this will be um, probably the most popular coyote and predator hunting scope going into the fall. That sounds good. Hey, listen, guys, if you're interested in this scope, again, we, we really we want to talk to you before you just jump on there and buy it, unless you just know, hey, this is it. I've been waiting on it. This is what I want. Then it is available at OutdoorLegacyGear.com. But if you want to talk to us, 877-350-1818. And I know a lot of guys say, listen, I'd love to go watch your your podcast, the Late Night Vision Show, with a full review. But the review's long, and I'm going to sit there, and it's I just I don't want to do that. I, you know what? Call us. Yeah. Because what can happen is, is in, in 10 minutes – five minutes, we can give you that one-on-one -on -one review. Mm -hmm. We can tell you if it'll work for you. You can, it's an interactive. You get to ask questions. You get to tell us what experience you have with thermals or what thermals you already own. And we can make sure it is the perfect optic for you. And if it's not, we'll be the first to tell you and we'll tell you what will work for you. Mm -hmm. And we can help you get the scope that will give you the most success when you're out there in the field at night doing what we all love to do, which is night hunting. So guys, yep. give us a call, 877-350-1818. Stick to right here, the Outdoor Legacy YouTube channel for all of the latest and the greatest, the, the, the greatest and latest and greatest, the, the, the short review type stuff we're going to put here. The full stuff will be over at uh, Hans's channel, which is H-A-N-S-E-T-X, Hans East Texas channel and the Late Night Vision Show. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this review.